I'm going to tell you about a sighting that I had uh, in Sedona, Arizona. I had just come back from a week-long conference, the first International UFO Congress put on by Colonel Bob Dean and uh, Wendell Stevens. And I had left there with a couple of friends, and we had gone to Sedona and had a, had a two- or three-day visit there. There's a place called Boynton Canyon in Sedona, and this would have been in 1991. So one night, well, one day, we went to a, a friend's house there. We were at a very intense spiritual epiphany happened for me, which I've actually relayed on another tape. I'm not going to go into here, but basically that night we were told that we were going to be directed to go to a place. We're going to be scared away from that place. We're going to go to another place and something's going to happen. That was the general gist of the message that we got. We drive to Boynton Canyon. It's at night, clear night, crystal clear. See all the stars. We uh, came to a dead end, and the road went, you know, left and right. And there was a barbed wire fence. And we stopped. We kind of pulled over and stopped. Nobody around. And we got out, and we were. I think a couple of us hopped the fence, and we went. It was kind of like generally descending down, not deep, but just a shallow you know, walk down, and we started to just, I don't know, just felt moved to do it, and uh, all of a sudden we were hit with just a negative energy that told us to leave. We all kind of recognized it, and we all left. We drove to another spot, and we stopped, up on a bluff, a plateau, beautiful, clear night. We're looking around. I have a video camera. There was probably one, two, three, four, five, five or six of us, perhaps at least five. You could see the stars. Uh, you could see routine airplane traffic. We were watching planes go by, and we were there for several minutes. And all of a sudden, we all noticed a bright light. And as we all came into awareness of it, it was moving towards us. started filming and the VC, uh, the camera stopped, which was typical of that type of a situation. It began to move towards us, although it was at a distance, but it was moving towards us. As we're all looking at it in our own minds, voicing, hey, what is that? Hey, do you see that? Hey, check a look at that. As we all became aware of this and the realization that it was moving towards us, so this is a white light, and below it was three other lights that were circling around the bottom. You know, three stationary lights, but they were just pulsing on and off. Okay. At the point when all of us made the realization in our mind, hey, yeah, check that out, it stopped. It was like, okay, because there was fear. There's always fear in these things when you're facing an unknown. You, 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 your, your mind will struggle to grasp what the reality is. That, that is just common. You want to rationalize and put it into some perspective. What is that? Is that an airplane? Is that a balloon? What is that? So at the time, we all made the connection. Uh, it stopped. And at that point, uh, it hovered, but it was making any sound. It was close enough that we couldn't hear anything, you know. And uh, then it slowly began to, along the same line that it came in, it just receded out that same pathway, that same line, and uh, it's a huge Great Dane with this woman right in front of me here, this Dane is huge, anyway, um, so that was a very, uh, well, just one of many that I've had uh, as far as sightings go with multiple witnesses, um, and that was again, it was in Sedona in 91.